Hey guys, welcome to Halo CE Speedrun. Oh god, so we actually, this is my second time recording this because I messed up on a, a simple part. And I would like to tell you that this is gonna not be official speedrunning, so it's gonna be two hours instead of one hour. I'm not beating any high scores, I'm just speedrunning it, trying to beat my own high score. Just two hours and 17 minutes, I think. So, hope you guys enjoy. I see one. Sir, the captain needs you on the bridge ASAP. Better follow me. But, um, yeah. It's a pretty tough game. There's certain aspects that can get a little annoying. Or, uh, certain parts that can get a little annoying. So I might get mad here and there. But um, yeah. Let's just get let's just uh get on with it. Those Marines could use some help. So you want to skip these guys. These guys don't matter. You just want to walk all the way over here. Shoot all these guys. Pick up. Try to pick up the plasma pistol. These guys are gonna try to shoot. No, sometimes they try to shoot you from there. And take down a little bit of your health, but you want to grab that med kit on the wall. If you didn't see me pick it up, then you got, probably should go back. Um, this is going to be a simple speed run. I'm not going to do any crazy tricks. So if you're looking to get the Easter egg, um, three hours on Halo CE completed, then I highly recommend looking at this. Um, certain tricks are going to be really difficult, and a lot of the tricks are actually very simple. I'm just gonna walk past these guys. If you kill those two elites, then there are gonna be more enemies spawning over here. And you can't really walk past that area that I just walked past. But, um. Oh no, I think I. No, we got it. I thought I threw that grenade a little wonky. I don't have that many frag grenades. Usually I should have more frag grenades, but that was a pretty lucky throw. Just try to pick as many, as many frag grenades as you can. Perfect. Turn around. Uh, we're not gonna do this trick. There's a trick over here that you can clip out of the out of the wall, and or you can clip up into the ceiling. And basically get out of the map and skip a couple places. That is not what I wanted. I lost a bunch of health. Oh my god. Covenant on the landing above us. Oh no. Perfect. Oh, that was so stressful. Nice. All right, we got four frag grenades, which is actually perfect because this next part's going to take a lot of grenades. At least two frag grenades that we're gonna need to use, and then uh, we're gonna use more. The life pods are launching. We should hurry. All right, Morning. there we go. The last doors closing. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us Crew in the ring. On deck one, two, four. Report to evac stations immediately. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. No, 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 no. I only have one HP. 
It looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you. Back. Perfect. We got past there. Sucky thing is we have one HP. So that's going to be a little difficult. Alright, there should be four grunts. We just shoot them. Now, where are you, fella? There you are. Alright. We made it. Now we throw more grenades. Make a ton of noise. There we go. And yeah, there we go. That should be it. Five. What the fuck? Get out of here. There we go. All right, we can skip these. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? Can you move? The others. The impact. There's nothing we can do. Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend We're just going to ignore as much as we We're can up here until we get to the one elite and four Alert. grunts that Covenant should be up here. Inbound. They must be looking for survivors. And I don't want to start shooting because there's going to be two ghosts coming up towards me. I'm going to be cousin causing a lot of noise. So usually they'll start shooting at me right now. There we go. They usually start shooting at me right here. And I just go into cover and they they just basically run away. I don't know why my pistol's not getting any headshots. He didn't drop any grenades. Oh no, he dropped two grenades. Never mind. Oh, and I'm at one HP, so that kind of sucks. Next fight's gonna be a little difficult, so. Kind of was hoping that I would have a lot of health. All right, we're gonna take out our pistol. Gonna make sure our frags are out, our frag grenades. <laughs> Jesus. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. And throw one frag. Usually, only a couple dies, like two. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go up there. Who was calling me? Somebody was calling me. I don't have time for messages right now. Go up to one of these guys. There we go. Once he starts pointing at me, that means one of these ships are going to start coming in. Alright, there should be two elites on the side I'm going to be attacking them. And we're gonna frag them, but we're gonna um, we're gonna grenade them both, sticky grenade them. That's what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Sticky grenade that one. Sticky grenade that one. Back up, because you don't want to die from the grenade, obviously. Throw a grenade down there. Covenant 
dropship on approach. I could use some help over here. Sorry, I had to talk to somebody. Oh, dude, perfect freaking throw. I'm gonna have to manhandle this guy. There we go. Perfect. Got it. They want to stay far away from these things because if you don't, they won't f drop and. Perfect. Okay, this is becoming a good run. We're already doing this under five minutes. Let's not jinx it now, but man, we're doing a good job. Should be one elite and one jackal. Pretty easy. We just throw a grenade at the elite, kill the jackal with that. Throw some grenades down here. Sometimes these grunts will come at you. Ah. Let's grab that. Clearly. Hey, you got a little ballsy, didn't you? Alright. He usually run away after he killed the last Selene, but it's alright. Dude, so far it looks like I'm going to beat my high score if I keep it up. For this map, at least. Come on. There we go. This is pretty basic. I'm just going to stay silent while moving. This cave is not a natural formation. Honestly, it's kind of easy to control the vehicles in this game. I've hacked into the At least a warhog it is. If I'm saying that right. Data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use And then I uh, actually right here you want to do a full 360. Because if you don't, you'll nosedive and it'll kick you out of the vehicle and that's a no-go for speed running. Oh my god, that was not expecting... I was not expecting that. Alright. No! That burns! Dude, stop shooting me! I did not want that to happen. I'm so screwed. I gotta keep it moving even if my shield's down. Cause this is a speed run, man. You like that? No, 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 no. 
Oh, I did fucking shh. All right, let, well, we can't beat our high score now, unless if we're lucky. All right, do that. Perfect. Stay on target. No, don't do it again. Don't do a 360. Please. I almost, it, last time I did a half 360, did a half, halfway of a 360, and it screwed me. Oh, God. There's new traffic on the Covenant Battle Network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Yeah. No, no. What are you doing, man? You want to get in my vehicle? No, sorry. Sorry, little piggy. Little piggy can't get in my vehicle, little pig. All right. Now, we got to go over here because there's going to be a little crash site over here. Do you want to stop by? And there should be a sniper rifle that you pick up. No sign of survivors. Switch it out with your pistol, or you can even use your pistol if you want. I personally like the plasma pistol more than the than the actual pistol. So let's go over Maybe here. Let's check it out. Go down here. There's gonna be two grunts coming out. Throw grenade. There should be teammates down here. Don't worry. Help me! We want them to all die. Because next thing's next, Cortana's gonna say... What the heck's that noise? Okay, never mind. What, next thing's next, Cortana's gonna say, Oh, they're all dead. I guess we couldn't save them all. And then that means we can move on to the next area. So get back in the vehicle. Get the heck out of Dodge. Wow, we didn't. I didn't lose any health at all. That's a first. Okay. And then next, the next glitch that we're gonna do in this area. So we're gonna get out. Well, no, we're first gonna get these guys in here. So there should be like three guys up here. Come on, buddy, get in. Kill one of them. Get out of here. So it's gonna be the same same concept, you know, killing everybody. But this time, instead of killing everybody, we're gonna kill one. We're gonna kick these guys out. And the reason why we brought them all the way out here is because now the game thinks that they're dead. Even though we didn't kill them. So they're like, okay, move on to the next area, save the next Marines. Which we are going to save the next Marines. So, let's see here. Next thing's next is we get over here. We're going to just curve around these rocks with the... Uh, Jeep. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Perfect. Doesn't matter how, as long as you get up here. That's the fastest way I know how. You're gonna wait until this. You're gonna get the sniper in the front seat. No, 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 no. Sniper, sniper in the front seat. There we go. So the sniper's gonna be in the front seat. Gunner's the back, obviously. The reason why is because it's extra damage, so we're going to want to kill all these guys as quick as we can. Perfect. I thought we were going to tip over. I didn't do that properly. So I'm going to try to run these guys over while these guys are gunning them down. Perfect. 
perfect. And that's a, the dropship that we're waiting for. And basically it's pretty simple, just run them all over before they get out and try to get into the mountains. Oh shit, I almost dropped the mouse. Because if they get into the mountains, we can't really kill them. I thought I got all of them. That would have been so cool. So the last dropship should be four jack, five jackals actually, and two elites. I'm gonna go grab a med kit before I do anything. Actually, I don't think we need one. Unless if we get plasma, our noob noob killed. Yeah, we might get plasma because we got here a little bit too late. Perfect. I think that's all the jackals. Now we're just gonna deal with the the elites. I found Captain Keys. He's being held in the Covenant Cruiser. The Truth and Reconciliation. A ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation wow. touched down on a desert 17 minutes. 300 kilometers up spin. Come on, let me on. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Perfect. Well, our original high score was 15 minutes and 58 minutes, but we're not going to... I mean, 15 minutes and 58 seconds, but we're not going to count that. The enemy has captured Captain Keys and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers, the Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift. lift. There's troops and supplies between the ship. Gravity and the ship. lift. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit the Marines. Go, go, go. The core ain't paying us by the hour. Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns for the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't God fire damn, that vehicle was loud. Whose vehicle was that? that? should let us keep the element of surprise. Perfect, throw grenade. Basically ignore all those other grunts. I want to be fast with these because this is going to take a, this map takes a while just to get down. There should be a leak coming out. I'm just going to wait until my health recharges. All right, we're just going to run for it because there's going to be elites coming up. Oh god, oh god, oh my god! No, that might have killed us. 
Oh, we've made it. Oh, we made it. Thank f Excuse my language. All right, we gotta go Ooh. over here. No, 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 you can't laser me down. Thank God, I thought I was a dad right there. There should be an elite over here somewhere. And a grunt that you also want to kill. Come on. Perfect. We made it. You guys can't see shit. Alright, jump over here. Perfect. Cortana to Echo 419. Requesting reinforcements at our position. Roger, Cortana. Echo 419 on approach. Oh, there's usually Coming one over there. Perfect. Everything is dead that we see. Everything is dead. Uh, okay, so that should be all of them. Oh, my finger hurts. Damn. What? I heard, I heard in the back! No, don't you hurt him. I need him. We got 36 bullets. That's pretty good. Nope, I guess they're not coming on. Oh, we gotta wait for Echo 419. Usually if you keep all these guys alive, you don't have to wait for Echo 419 to drop more off. So it kinda sucks, I guess. It takes some time, it takes some time off the, the timer, I guess. So we're going to take this out, and we look for a marine, kill one, there we go, you'll see why, I'll tell you before, uh, before I do the next thing, where the heck, there you are, that's what I was looking for, took a while, no covenant. You had to open your mouth. 
Oh, Saber Sword. Oh my god, he that came way too close. Alright. Now we stand in the middle, look at the the map, because once you look at the map, it'll tell you where the heck the next will spawn, and it's over here. These guys actually took so long that the other one spawned in, which that's a very rare thing that happens. I did not want my health to get fucking tarnished right there. <sighs> okay. You guys can't see me, but I'm sweating like crazy. Perfect. I ain't dealing with that. Just throw a grenade. Oh my god. Alright. Is that the last of them? Checkpoint. So that should that means that that's the last of them, so do that. Do that, perfect. That was pretty easy. Now we gotta get that medkit over there. Which I saved it for a reason, obviously. And then there should be an invisibility pack. Which I saved it for a reason. So we go over here, just walk past all these guys. Should be two grunts. And then one elite up here. We're doing this actually. We're I'm. This is. I might beat my high score. I said that last time, but this time I mean it. This guy's never on. Never. In his normal state of mind. Look at him. He's just crazy. He's on drugs. Come here. Come on, come on. Perfect. Yes. All right, we skip past that part. That part, that room that we're just in, killing everything. That's another room where enemies will start surrounding you, but you can skip past it pretty easy. Perfect. Switch off classic. Turn that off. I'll show you why I turned it off. Turn classic. Uh, I mean, turned off classic. God damn. Oh, that was pretty easy. Usually, it, I don't. Never mind. All right. Usually, it takes a while to kill one of those uh, enemies over there. Okay, throw a grenade up here. Throw a grenade down here. Throw another grenade. Perfect. First try. We're going to do this. We're going to beat my high score, dude. Turn that back on. Put on that. I'm just hoping this guy doesn't shoot at me. Oh, he's going to shoot at me. He's taking a lot of health down. That's not cool. Alright. Pretty simple. We're doing this. Holy crap. If, if I beat my high score, which is two hours... I'm gonna be surprised. 
I'm gonna be freaking excited, dude. I'm gonna be pumped up. Perfect. Woo Didn't even take that much energy to take these guys out. Let's see if we can. Damn, we're uh, I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. Pretty simple. F off, no. Yes, all right. Got a little time taken off. We can still do this. Uh, that sucks. Did not want to die over there. I'm not only hoping to beat the uh, the high score of me beating the game. I also want to beat the high score of this level. So I don't know if I'm gonna beat the, the score of this level. Might have effed up. Perfect. Now we gotta get these supplies before. Th Fucker. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. Guys, move. You getting in my way. Perfect. Oh my god. Yeah, this map is no f What the hell? Perfect. Now Captain Key should hate my guts and I am going to run away because he will chase me down with a vengeance that nobody else has. Um and the reason why is because in this next room there should be a ton of enemies that come at me. And look, look, so see, it, all these enemies will start coming at me That's it. when those doors the open. Everybody, mount up. Let's get up. And uh, we don't, we just skipped an entire cut. We we skip we just skipped an entire fight scene. That's what I'm trying to say. We skipped an entire fight scene. We didn't need to fight. So freaking cool. This one's a very easy level. Doesn't take that much time to to beat.
the Covenant believe so you want to look at this guy for cartographer because I'll show you you'll see why the cartographer is a map room that will lead us to halo's control so look center. oh wait wait hold on the island has hold multiple on. structures and installations look. There's a bat. There's a bunch of enemies. A bunch of. We're gonna go fight those guys, right? No, we're gonna look at this guy. Cause once we start looking at him, it's gonna kick us out. And then we're looking in dire the direction that we want to look at. And we just walk along this beach until we see a vehicle that we're gonna pick up. And. It's Actually, the glitch that we're about to do is pretty difficult, but once you get it down, it's quite easy. It just takes a lot of practice to do. Like there is a path into the interior of the island. Uh, okay. People keep on walking in my room, and it's kind of annoying. All right, so we want to get out of the vehicle after we kill those three jackals. Grab the plasma pistol. Grab the overpower, the overshield, and uh, basically drive up through this building. Drive in here. Oh my god! The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must. Be do this. Don't let them lock the doors. Oh, I messed that up. Indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Don't let them lock the doors. Perfect. Haha, -ha, we got through it. Um, usually you want to just jump down there right away, but I'm not gonna do that. This guy should drop plasma pistols, but he didn't, so we're just gonna go up here. What the f- I missed like every shot! The fuck? Okay. This kind of sucks. I did not want to lose this much health. The Covenant's understanding of Halo <sighs> that really sucks, doors, dude. And we don't have enough firepower to get through them. All right, we're gonna shoot at the ground. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? So you want to hit the the edge. So you that little platform that I died on. You want to hit the edge of it, and then the game will take all the fall damage off of you. Have you found the control center? So see. Gonna want to do that. Yes, I did it. See, I, as you could tell before, I died from that, and obviously I didn't die from it this time. And you want to do that? Grab this. Kind of sucks that I have one health, but we're gonna see if we can beat the high school, like always, because I'm doing really good right now. Gonna switch to my plasma. My plasma grenades. Second squad, ready to roll. Soon as everybody's topside. <sighs> this should be pretty Nothing simple. Um. Good luck, people. Keys out. We need to find the security override to get this door open. Throw a grenade. Grenade jump. Perfect. Grab the invisibility kit. Now we're invisible, so now we're just gonna go walk past all these bad guys that we should have been killing earlier. So everything that spawned is spawned, and everything that 
spawned is going to be spawned. So there's going to be more spawns and more spawns and more spawns. So there's going to be twice as many enemies as there was before. And this is just really scary for me because if I somehow lose my invisibility, like right now, it they will kill me all. They will all kill me. All right, we're good. Okay, I'm ready. I had to warm myself up. Oh shit, I don't have plasma pistols. No, he doesn't have plasma pistols either. Fucker. Alright, now we just walk past him. Throw a grenade. Run away. He'll die instantly. Perfect. Perfecto. Like a pizza, pizza pie, like a pizza, pizza pie, like a pizza, pizza pie. I'm just gonna move this out of my way. Get out of my way. There we go. Okay, we're gonna walk up here. Because we're gonna notify the game that we're starting a new thing and those guys should die. Okay, let's move out. Roger. On my way. And then Let's go get in the vehicle. That will show us the location of Halo's control center. Go up here. Get in. It should make us invincible. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it didn't make me invincible. I'm gonna die. Yeah. It's just unlucky, that's it. No, I got it! Ha! I was invincible for a second. This one's another easy one that we can do. Unless if we fuck it up somehow. If we mess this up, it's usually like... 20 minutes, but if we get it right, it's seven minutes. This is one of the hardest, hardest glitches that you can do in the game that I'm about to do. Because you almost always die from fall damage or slip off the edge. You know, I, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'll just show you when I get up, get there. <sighs> okay, we lost a lot of health. Alright, yeah, perfect. Ah, oh, okay. Checkpoint should give us a checkpoint. Cause this is gonna take a while. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are. We're gonna jump down here, get on this little ledge, the and then do this. We're probably not gonna get it. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're just very lucky, I guess. And then we're gonna kill this thing, cause he's gonna kill us if we don't. It's gonna probably take like three magazines. No, it took us two magazines. We're just, dude, we're cruising through this. All right, so that glitch looked really easy to you guys, but it actually took me three days to learn that glitch. It's so freaking hard. Cause you usually die from fall damage or slipping off and then dying from fall damage. 
But this is the part where sometimes you get a little unlucky and still die from fall damage. So what you want to do is duck, stay in the crouched position, and once you hit these rocks, unduck. Once you hit there, unduck. Because uh, once you do that, it just bounces you up and it takes all the fall damage that you get, that you should get, away from you. I mean, you get a little fall damage, but it's not that bad. <sighs> but here we go. And then you just jump in this. Ghost. And you're pretty much good. You just go through this whole thing with no enemies. You're basically just alone. And the next map should be Captain Keys. Bridge part. Oh my god. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh my god. Cause I'm realizing I haven't really got that haven't gotten that much sleep. And I've been planning on doing this video for a long time and I'm like, I have time. Now I'm just getting really tired. I'm not saying I'm get, gonna get off, but I still have a long day ahead of me, so. Either way, I'm going to have to stay awake. Oh, God. Alright, next things next is there should be a... What? I make it abundantly clear that I don't want anybody in my room right now. Perfect. So yeah, the reason why I'm being silent is because it's just easy just to do this. You don't need any explanation. Now I suggest to uh, replay that part slowly and see where exactly where I'm going to land and where I'm going to jump off of the rock because that is very important. You do it too quick, you fall and die. You do it too late, you fall and die. So it kind of sucks. It's very tedious and gets you. It will get you very angry too. Which is better than going through all those enemies that you usually have to go through, which is like 20 minutes. All right, take this thing. Oopsie daisy. Oh my god. Just click the fucking button, dude. Perfect.
Okay, next map is Captain Keys. Or, no, not Captain Keys. 343 Guilty Spark. This map, you basically want to go as fast as you can. There's no really... that's There's not that many um, glitches here and there. I mean, there's a little bit... There's not. There's no really any glitches that I know of that I can do on this map. I know there's... Actually, then again, I do know there's one that's very important. It can skip past the introduction of Flood. So when all those little bubble guys start popping through those doors. But it's very difficult. I only got it down one time. And other than that, I would have to do it like many other times to figure it out. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, you just, just follow what I did. Jump on that rock and basically... It's a little shortcut. Perfect. Jump up. In fact, okay, so next that you want to do, is, the next thing you want to do is walk into this corner until it does that and then you slide off of that take no fall damage at all you'll be perfectly okay Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to rush these guys. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable because they're all dead. Yeah, I kind of guessed there would be an extra one in here. Alright. So next thing's next is we throw a grenade over there, throw a grenade over there. Just kind of walk past them. They, they're kind of irrelevant right now. And then this is a short, short, shortcut. I don't know why it does that. It makes me stay ducked. And that messes me up. There we go. All right, that works. I'm gonna remember that plasma pistol. If I don't pick it up, then it's my fault. But I need that plasma pistol for something special earlier. Uh, on. Um, okay. So just pick up all the ammo. Stand here. And you're gonna want to kill these little poppy guys as quickly as possible. Because they're gonna pop out and they're gonna fucking try to eat you alive. But other than that, once you kill them quick, quickly, then they'll start opening up the doors more quickly. See, that one's... So once I killed all those guys, now these guys are coming out. Once I kill these guys, the next swarms coming out and then that should open up the final door all right that should be all of them there we go. This one should be opening up now. Alright, pick up the plasma pistol. Jump over here, jump over here. Perfect. Alright. So now that we have the plasma pistol, um, well, no, we'd, I'll, I'll explain it later. Actually, this thing comes becomes important at the end of the level.
Aha! Alright. So yeah, it's it basically every room you just walk past all the enemies. See, these guys are not important. Like, you'll get on the elevator, but you can kill him because it doesn't matter. And you're gonna walk in this specific corner. This corner. You always want to go for this corner because I'll show you why. You jump down here. You want to get this overshield. Go down. Oh, that's unlucky. He has a gun. Alright. So, basically, once you do that, you turn invisible. Throw a grenade in this corner. Jump. Ah, I messed up. Throw a grenade. All right, perfect. That makes it so you ha you skip a room. You don't want to go in that room. You want to just go over here. Jump. Go down here. Makes you actually... I think it makes you skip several rooms. I don't remember. I've been doing that glitch for a while now. Or that... that yeah, that glitch for a while, so... I don't know. All right. Next thing's next. Switch to your pistol. Pick up the shotgun. Perfect. You should be becoming uninvisible. These guys are going to be running up against your ass. And then you're going to want to wait for a while. Once you see some like flood coming out, throw a grenade, start shooting. Run in here. No, oh, no, that was very unlucky. I got stuck on something. It doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. I'm just gonna walk in this corner because as soon as you get out of this thing, you just wanna be walking. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. Okay. You wanna walk. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. He's probably gonna come back alive. That was a pretty easy kill. Uh, so the revival flood, which is like a specific type of flood, which you'll learn on. I'll teach you what that is later on. walk very close to this thing. Can I actually get up here? There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, you want to shoot these things. Even though they say, even though the mini-map says they're allies, once you kill these things, where the heck is the other one? Uh, well, the flood got him, but it makes it so the cutscene goes a lot, comes around a lot quicker, because there's going to be a cutscene happening over here. But yeah, that's why we wanted the plasma pistol, because those flying robots, they're a lot easier to kill with plasma pistols. Alright, you want to go here, activate the robot. Now you're thinking, I should go over there and follow him. Don't do that. Go over here, throw a grenade. Jump up here. Jump up here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you go over there, there's going to be a ton of flood that will spawn. But by going over here, and just going around that little area... Perfect. You skip a bunch of the, the flood. 
Young year, the next year. Perfect. Follow me. Well, I'm gonna grab this grenade over here. The There's actually two ways you can do this, but um, it involves around a, a, a revival flood, which those things, um, because there's two different types of flood. There's one where you kill them and then they don't get back up, and there's another one that you kill and they get back up and you have to kill them again. It actually depends on how you kill them. If I shoot them with a machine gun, they'll get back up. But if I shoot a revival flood with like a shotgun, they won't get back up. So it kind of depends. Open the door. Now we just wait for him. I hate I hate the library so much. It's just so. Boring. Throw a grenade over there. Despite the containment protocols. Should be a shotgun over here. What happened to the shotgun? I need the shotgun. Thank you. Perfect. Now we just keep in walking. It doesn't matter what our health is at. We just we we ignore everything in this area. Ignore. I mean, we shoot here and there, right? But we just try to ignore it as best as we can. Yeah, it didn't really give us that much shotgun ammo. We're gonna throw a grenade over there. Grab this. It'll make us invincible for like a minute. All right, so this is a first. I don't have any shotgun bullets, which is fine. We'll just figure out what we're gonna do. This installation's research facilities are most impressive. Perhaps you will have time to see them later. All right, perfect. Ugh. Like, we literally have no shotgun ammo left. I mean, we have, like, some in our magazine, or in our shotgun, but... These sentinels will supplement your combat systems. But I suggest you upgrade to at least a class 12 combat skill. Your pardon me. A plasma conduit leech in section 5524 has disrupted power flow to a rivetic maintenance. Perfect. All right. So that's pretty simple. You just shoot your way out and you try to run past all those guys. This next part, I'll explain it to you. Because I'm going to despawn a whole entire infected covenant and marines. So I'll show you what to do over here. This is actually a very simple glitch. Hello. So on the left, left corner, it should say checkpoint, right? And then it says hold your position. Just back up, go up here, and stay here until that, until that, uh, where do they go? Until that little robot comes by. Hello, buddy. He's gonna stop right there. He's gonna slow down, actually, right there, and then 
that should be the go ahead to move forward. Should be two frag grenades, and I'll show you what you're gonna do with these frag grenades. And you wanna you don't wanna go down there. You wanna go over here and basically jump and duck. And keep him doing this until you get over there. Just jump and duck. Perfect. Checkpoint done. Perfect. So this part takes a while. Usually. But since I have these grenades. And I have a... And I can... Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grenade jump. Yeah, see? That door opens. Throw a grenade. Perfect. And I don't have to wait for that robot to do its thing. I can do my own thing. You want to throw a grenade over here because there's going to be a bunch of flood coming out. If you're using this as a tutorial... I recommend to watch the whole thing. I should have probably said this before. Um, because I don't really explain that much. And when I do explain it, sometimes I explain it after. After I did the certain thing I did. But I don't know. It's your choice. So you want to keep those things around. Um, walk forward, do that. I'm just gonna throw a grenade. Ah! All right, perfect. There we go, we should get a checkpoint. Perfect, there's a grenade right there and a shotgun. Now I need pistol ammo, which is something I really do need. I only have 13 more rounds and a certain amount in my clip. So yeah, just run past all these guys. Shh, make sure, oh, he killed himself. But there's a rocket launcher guy back there, and you got to make sure you kill him, or he will kill you. I'm dead, but, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, that was a grenade, and I almost hit it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, we're good. In fact, I'm going to take this rocket launcher, because I have no ammo. I'm gonna shoot that guy because he has a shotgun, and that could be a one-hit kill. Ah! Stop shooting me! Alright, alright, alright. <sighs> I hate the library so much. It's such a shit map. I'm sorry. It just It's so boring. Every turn you take, it just looks like the same thing over and over again. And it's like the longest map, too. One of the longest maps. Alright. Damn it. Um, there should be another pistol. Here it is. Alright, we're full on... Oh, let's go first see if they those other flood dropped, um... Any grenades, because we do need grenades. Not plasma grenades, but... Okay. Now, we're kind of screwed. We only have one. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this over here? Nope, never mind. He has plasma grenades.
I'm just kind of using my shotgun ammo. Ah. Uh, I don't want to kill you, buddy. You gotta get a little bit closer first. So I do want to get some grenades. Did I not get any grenades? Shit. That would have been bad. Alright, jump up here, jump over here. <sighs> Perfect. As you can tell, I am getting very stressed out. This game is very stressful. So you want to stand over here, shoot this. Would have been bad. I got a checkpoint, perfect. So switch to plasma grenades. And this is gonna be, dude, not now. I am busy. Throw grenades over here because there's gonna be a guy with a rocket launcher and he will kill you if you do not do this. And then you're gonna wanna do the same thing that you did here. And this time you wanna throw a frag grenade, which kinda sucks because it's the only one we have. But these guys, people, the flood that have shotgun will kill you pretty easily, so. I kind of want to do that. Just shoot everything right now. Because if you don't, they'll follow you. And that kind of annoys the shit out of me sometimes. Yeah, these little guys are annoying sometimes. I gotta individually kill them. Oh my god, there's more? Perfect. Alright, they're all dead. Thank God. Jump up here. Oh, we got grenades. Yay. Oh, that's right. There should be more flood coming out through here. Or not? Are they not going to be coming out? They're not coming out? They're not coming out? All right. We're good. The installation was specific they must have not, not have spotted me or they already came out. There's and I killed them and I didn't realize. I am grateful to see that some of them survived to reproduce. Wait, what? 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 Ah, okay, all right, we're good, oh my god, all right, we're pretty much just going to run past these little, come on, come on, we're going to get past this. All right. Oh. All right, we're just going to sit in this corner because there's going to be a ton of flood that come out. And by sitting in this corner, they'll basically ignore you and you'll just walk out once that door, once this door opens. So that's perfectly fine by me. All right. Perfect. Now we're just going to walk past these guys. Shotgun ammo. Yay. That's actually what I needed. Nope, I don't want that. I hate that. Whatever that was, I hated it. 
Damn it! We gotta grab some grenades. Perfect. Just run! Run! You're baloney! You're baloney! Okay. Yeah, so grenade jump through here. No, you fucker! I accidentally got the other... There we go. Perfect. Grenade jump. Usually get this done down in 20 minutes, but... Not tonight. There we go. So this one opens up a lot quicker for some reason. And I'm getting shot at. Usually these guys never shoot at me. So there's going to be a little... Those big bubble guys. These guys are going to come out. I'm just going to shoot them one by one. Until they go away. Alright, that should be all of them. Now these guys, you don't really need to kill because if you do, it'll take you forever. So just walk over here, stand right where this door is at. And there should be these guys coming out. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks because now these guys are going to shoot at me and I'm going to have really low health. Fucking dipshits. I hope you know you're all dipshits. Gonna reload. Fuck off. Busy. Okay, so there should be guys on the side over here. Just shoot them. If you don't, they will kill you. Pretty simple. All right. And you don't want to walk straight there. You want to go over here because if you don't... <laughs> They will just gun you down. Jump. And bada boom, bada bang. You got it. It was a little bumpy. Lost a lot of time. But... And you can't skip this cutscene, so it kind of sucks. Alright. So, for story storyline stuff, the... Robots go against us, so now we're gonna have to fight the robots. You're just gonna walk straight ahead while shooting these things. You wanna also shoot a charge at them, it's an instant kill. 
this part we're gonna have a really hard time on because I usually do unless if I jinx myself and we actually make it out of this perfectly fine but you're gonna want to shoot these grunts to make it an even fight and so mo the best chance of this of them all killing themselves is a lot better I'm going to search what's left in the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. Perfect. Alright, let's see if we get this. Next thing, next, is this is very important. So, you want to hit this button. Once it stops... Or once that, those little colors on the button stop going. Okay, so you press the button two times. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, back to the video. Yes! I thought I messed up there because I didn't throw... I needed to throw a frag grenade at those jackals. And I threw a plasma grenade, so... Thank God I made it out of that one. So this is the hardest part. Um, we actually made it past the hardest part. I'm gonna wait for a while before I jump down, because I just fucked these jumps up. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Alright, so switch to your plasma pistol. I know they're gr it's great for killing Covenant, but we're gonna replace it. Because we need to get something a little better. We're gonna grab this rocket launcher, grab the ammo. And then... We're gonna go up here. This is optional. This actually takes a little bit of time off. But I recommend if you want more ammo, go up here. And then... Next thing's next, is you want to click the button again, quickly go over here, because they will all respawn, you need this to happen for you to, for you to complete the mission. If you don't do this, you will not be, like I said, you will not be able to complete the mission. And then go up here. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal. Basically kill everything in here. There we go. Are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate Do not park on this side. Do not put this banshee over so, here because there will be another one. There will be another one over here. There would be another ban. I mean, no, not a banshee. I mean, some time. yeah, banshee. There will be another banshee the over there. My bad. With a nav point. I'm so tired right now, man. The device. Okay. We should commandeer one of those banshees. That's the pulse we'll need it to reach the pulse generator. Go up to the pulse generator. Go over here. Pulse generator has overloaded. Perfect. The Just walk past those guys. They'll welcome. ignore you. They won't even follow you. You're good. The second pulse generator is located okay. in the adjacent canyon. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. That's the thing about me. Half the time I don't know what the hell I do. Okay, let's go over here. Just ditch the Banshee. Kill these guys. Throw some grenades over there. Reload. Ah! Little shitter ran towards me. Perfect. Those guys should be dead. Now it's clear to move on. Now you see those guys' heads peeking out? You want to do this. Because they won't dodge it. 
Because I don't know why. I guess they can't see you fully or something. But most of the time, they won't dodge it. I don't know what this guy's doing. Look, see. Oh, didn't get him. But I was close. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. My grenade throwing's not on par. Dude, it, uh, what? It spawned me over here? Oh my god, no. Uh, did not want that to happen. Switch to your plasma grenade, start throwing. Start like throwing explosives on there because there's like a ton of elites. Wanna keep your rocket launcher, make sure you have the ammo. Oh, I accidentally activated them. We want them to actually battle. Wait until all the noise has gone down, and once that happens, then you are good. Alright. So. Does it, like, go through their crotch or something? Okay, perfect. Should be a bunch, a bunch of jackals over here. Once you clean them all up, you just walk past, go around here. Kill like everything that you can see. Not like everything, but you get what I mean. Try to kill as much as possible. Oh, that would have been bad. Thank God he missed. You want to kill everything that is on this platform because you're going to be going on that platform soon enough. Because if you don't, they will start shooting you from this platform and that kind of sucks and you don't want that. The next thing you're going to want to do is you want to throw a grenade over here. That kind of sucked. It kind of bounced. Got to reload. No, 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 no! Fuck. Alright, activate that. They'll, once you activate that little thing that uh, just happened, they'll start battling. You're gonna wait it out once you do that. There should be an, a, a guy with a bazooka that comes out. You 
you want to back up because sometimes he'll shoot at this wall and you'll die. It actually happened to me one time. Oh my god. The first couple bullets, I was like, holy shit. So I realized he wasn't dying. I was, that scared the shit out of me. Alright. Pretty much the same concept as anything. Just walk past these guys. Kind of an unlucky thing that just happened. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Fucking shit, dude. I did not want that to happen. Messed my whole thing up. Perfect. Should give us a checkpoint. If it doesn't, that sucks. You want to take care of these things before anything else because they are quite a nuisance. Where's the other one? Did the flood kill them? Sometimes the flood get lucky. You have lost your internet connection to Xbox. Just told me I lost internet connection to Xbox Live. That's fine. Still rolling. You want to mostly aim for those guys with the bazookas. If you get anywhere near them, they will destroy you. They will absolutely annihilate you. It doesn't matter if they're revival flood or not. As long as they hit the floor, you're good. Because that means they dropped the bazooka that they're carrying. There's still a grenade just in case. Yeah, see, that's not all of them. God damn it. I don't want to get close. Cause look, okay, we're good. I think we killed them all. I think that was the last of them. Right, in fact, we kind of want to get those bazookas because they help us um, in the future. Alright, we only got three bullets with the uh, bazooka, but that's fine. We can get more. Alright, next room is pretty simple. This is actually a pretty easy room to deal with. Throw a grenade over there. Should be like a couple of shotgun guys in here, but usually their guns get scattered all across the room when you throw a grenade. So I only got 48 bullets. That's not bad. Sometimes I only get 28 and it kind of screws me over. Because during the, cause the next part that we're going to deal with, we're probably not going to get a shotgun bullet. Like 25% chance we might get shotgun bullets. But right now... We're just gonna have to have, we're just gonna have to deal with what we have now. All right, so shoot this guy. Drag this guy all the way over here. He's gonna try to jump at you a couple of times. It's fine. Let's go over here. He's gonna try to hit you. Jump over here. He sometimes gets a hit off of you, but that's fine. So yeah, you can skip that whole room just by doing that. It's pretty cool. You want to ignore everything here okay. that isn't shooting at you. Cool. 
Get on this. Oh my god. Yeah, this is sketchy sometimes because that, that uh, tank will get a good hit off of you. And actually, sometimes this banshee will follow you. Rarely. He might be following me right now. Let me double check. I think we're good. So I heard him on my at because I heard him like following me earlier and that scared me. All right, get back on. You, I'm just stopped by here just to get ammo. Um, you can do that too. And the thing is, is that you can keep one of these guys alive, but I like killing one of them. In fact, I'm going to kill all of them. Because they will shoot at your Banshee and it will frick you up. It's totally optional. You can do it. In fact, if you don't kill them, it'll be faster. It's just you'll have lower health for your Banshee. Um, kill this guy. Basically kill everything that gets in your way. I think we're good. We can move on. I mean, I might jinx it here, because there's usually like four banshees. I only killed two, so let's see if we're... Oh, I think that guy was just stuck. All right, perfect. All right, leave the, like I said, do not park over there because there will be another Banshee. So make sure you never park on the right side of the, or the left side, my bad, because I was facing this way. It should be the left side because it will, it will not spawn that extra Banshee with the extra health. So that is a mandatory thing. See, that's what I'm afraid of right there. That fucking rocket launcher guy right there. He's He would have got a hit on me. I would have been dead. No doubt about it. That would have been bad. But I'll take more of that rocket launcher ammo. Anytime during the day. Alright. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go for it. Throw grenades over here. Generator overloaded. One more to go. Just run past these guys. It doesn't matter. They they're not gonna hurt you. They will hurt you, but they weren't gonna hurt me right there. All right, we're good to go. I've located the Pillar of Autumn. She put down 1,200 kilometers up spin. Energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up. That tunnel leads to the next. Now we're just gonna go straight down this tunnel. Make sure you don't. You go right up to the roof of the tunnel. And there should be a couple of bazooka guys. Just keep and dodging. Like turn as much as you can. That's perfect. All right. Stop right here. Turn this on. Don't walk through there. Keep that banshee there. You're just going to want to walk back over here because some of these because if you take your time and kill all those guys in there, these guys so a couple flood over here will respawn. So you kind of just want to walk here instantly. I think they already respawned. No, one of them spawned in. No, nope, they respawned. They Fudge spawned in. It's fine.
All right, you want to take this ghost? Because we're going to do some important things with this. Alright, perfect. So, we're gonna take this ghost. Make sure you go in backwards. Like that. And then get in the banshee. And just push the ghost into here. Because you, cause in this part, you usually walk through here. Instead of use a vehicle. But since you push this ghost through here. Man. You don't need to do anything, but... Oh, God. This is actually a part that is very frustrating, because if you mess up here... Okay, you want these guys to spawn in. Let's quickly turn that on. Yeah, see, now look, yeah, that's what sucks about this part. I'll, you know, it's such a tedious part, I'll just save you guys the bother and just skip past the part where I'm successfully opening up those doors. Alright, welcome back guys, we made it through the tunnel, thank god. Um, now, we're just gonna go over here, we're gonna get a checkpoint, which is perfect. But what are you doing, man? Stop following me. You sack of shit. Alright. Before I start berating the flood, let's go over here and start blowing them up. So, over here, there's gonna be... Th for some reason, you have to kill five flood. And they're all over here. So, there we go. You kill... So, obviously, I killed those f three and all that. But once I killed all those flood, you're just gonna go over here, ignore everything... Just don't pay attention to anything at all. You know. And actually, this is the best path. Do what I'm doing right here. Follow this path. Because these rocket launcher guys will not blow you up somehow. I don't know how, but... They will miss you with a rocket launcher. Alright? And just, uh, just go straight for it. For it. Just go straight for it. Just go for it. And once we're here, get out. Go right up. Go straight up ahead. Up, up, up. And then you start going normal. Because if you go... Because if you start going straight towards the waypoint, you'll just get blasted. But if you go straight up, then uh, they'll all miss you for some reason, which is pretty cool. But, uh, 27 minutes. I don't think we beat my high score, but still. Get out of there. Ignore all those guys. Just do exactly what I did right there. I forgot to explain it, but whatever. Um. Go right here. Just run, run, run. That was so unlucky. All right. Okay, run. Alright, we're, we're, we're done. We did it. S eight, 28 minutes and 30 seconds. Next map. This could be the easiest thing or the most difficult thing. It's all about luck. All about luck. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. Here, 
Go like this. Go like this. See? Once... I mean, they wouldn't patch it. Cause it's... All right, and then you stand on this fleshy part right here. Stand still, and it'll boost you through the wall. This is actually the fastest level you can beat. So, it's pretty cool. And then you go over there to that little black wall. And then all the enemies will spawn in. Hit. 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 Throw a grenade. You actually want to grab this pistol. Throw a grenade. Throw a grenade. Throw a grenade. Basically kill everything. Do not stay here for long. Because they will start respawning. In their T-posed form. And then, bada boom, bada bang, you're here with the master chief, with the, with Captain Keys. Captain Keys! No human life signs detected. Is he gonna give Captain. me a pistol or something? <laughs> hey, Captain Keys, are you in there? <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. It's done. I have the code. We should go. Perfect. Alright. Make sure you have a plasma grenade. Throw it across. That elite will turn his head, and that will give you enough time to get away without him killing you. So that's pretty cool. Gotcha. Oh, God. I just said... Checkpoint! Yay! We got a checkpoint. Perfect. He's dead. Perfect. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Now we jump over here. Wait for this guy to get out and jump down and instantly hold the. I didn't do it right because I took fall damage, but it doesn't matter. Grab one of the escort banshees. So yeah, you can basically clip through anything with this banshee. It's pretty cool. All right. Now we're on to the last level. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And basically, all I gotta say is, hope you like what I'm doing because I've never done something like this before. Um, and it's you know a weird concept. I don't know. I it's me explaining the video game, explaining how to play the video game. Well, not how, explaining how to speed run. But, um, I don't know, it's weird. I've never done it before, so I hope you guys have it. liked this. There, if you did, hit a, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's finish this. Alright, so you kind of just want to jump down here. Make sure you, whoa, what's going on with you, buddy? Alright, pick up this pistol. You gotta be prepared for that. If you don't, it will kill you. They will kill you! And you gotta kinda get in here quickly, because more will respawn and they'll start coming after you. Whoa, whoa, that really off-balanced my ass. All right, we're good. 
Yeah, there should be a med kit in here, so that's why I was kind of be, being a little ballsy. And this part was very difficult for me back then, but now that I realize I can basically just walk past all these guys. Uh, except for that, that was kind of unlucky, I'm not going to lie. No, we got it. No, we got it. I mean, we lost a bit of shield, but... We're going to throw a grenade at this guy. Let's get to work. Let him know who's boss. is located next to the main view screen. All right, perfect. Cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there. Is that all of them? I don't feel like that. that didn't feel like there was a lot of flood. Uh, is there a shotgun? Yes, there is. We got full shotgun ammo and full pistol ammo. Okay. Should be one over here, but he's not there right now. Alright, let's wait for our shield to recharge, and then we're just gonna go for it. Go under here. Basically ignore all these guys. It can be kind of hard because they get in your way, but it's better to ignore them. All right. Now that we got past that, let's grab the grenades, everything we can get. All right, there should be a, a sh an overshield shield over here. Just grab that. Walk past those guys. Uh, perfect. Did I go the right way? Yes, I did. All right, I right, just uh, shoot a couple of these guys because you want to. Have as much overshield as you can. Oh wow, I got a lot of overshield left over. So you don't want to go over there just yet. You want to go over here to the armory and pick up some of these bazookas, get some extra shotgun ammo. All and then, um, yeah, just go over here. The rest is pretty basic. Not pretty basic, but walking up to the engine room, engine room is pretty basic alert the monitor has disabled all command access we can't restart the countdown the only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors that should do enough damage to destroy halo don't worry i have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures jump up here jump up here first we need to pull back jump. the couplings that will expose a shaft. All right. So you want to open this one. Good. Step one complete. You don't want to blow it up just yet. Look for well, this. If it's not up, if it's up, wait for it to go down. If it's not up, wait for it to go up. Use an explosive. Okay, it's going up. Grenade or rocket. Run out of explosives. There is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyze it. All right. Perfect. Now you're just going to ignore everything. Same thing with this. Okay. Perfect. Alright, and then we're just going to run to this doorway. This specific doorway. This is kind of a hard part, so I'm hoping I don't mess it up. Do you want to walk over here? Kind of get there as quick as you can. Perfect! Woo! 
All right, now we just chill out until we get there. Alright. I'm gonna go over here, churn. It'll should give you a free med kit. Which is pretty cool. Now that was very close. Did not want to get caught with that explosion. Holy shit. Jeez. Jeez Louise. You want to take your hand off the key just a bit so you have a lose enough speed just to get through this crack. The crack, the crack. Oh, three kills in a row, baby. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Oh, my God. That was the worst take up I ever had. Cortana, oh, now I'm having stomach acid. This is not the time, man. Calculating alternate escape route. Ah. Oh. Oh. shows one long sword fighter is still docked in launch base. Damn. Base. If we move now, we can make it. All right, slow down. There we go. All right, we're gonna take our hand off the freaking thing. Back up, back up, back up. It's gonna nosedive. I'm gonna die. Oh my god! Thank God. Cause in sometimes when you nosedive from a high place, you will die. You will die. You do not want to nosedive with this with this uh, warhog. It will kill you, and it sucks a lot. All right, perfect. Now we're just gonna. Ah, I almost made it. Okay, we did it. I know I've already said this before, but if you did like the video, hit that like we're and cutting subscribe it button. And oh my god, let's see the iconic scene where Master Chief takes off his helmet. Here we go. And 
let me see how many times I've played this because I did actually mark it down. This is it, baby. Hold me. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. What's going on here? Hey! 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 I right, you know, let them do their own thing. It's 2023. Shut them down. We'll need them later. Fancy a look? So I've played Halo Combat Evolved. Did anyone else make it? Twenty eight times. Scanning. Damn. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We, we did, did what, what we, we had, had to, do to do. For Earth. For Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo. It's finished. <sighs> I think we're, I think we're just, just getting started. started. Oh shit, dude. Oh man. Iconic scene. Everybody wanted to know what was under his mask. And now we do, with the Halo, uh, oh god, what is it called? The Halo TV show. Wow, isn't that great? A shitty TV show showed up. Never mind, I'm not even going to get into that. I can go into that all day, man. I mean, how can you ruin a perfectly good character without bullshit? I'm not even going to say it's Hey, Smash shut up! I'm not gonna shut say your mouth! Smash. Shut your dirty mouth! Alright, guys. That is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. So I do hope you have enjoyed. Um, I will probably not do something like this for a while. But it is good practice if I start live streaming or something. Um, as you can tell, I messed up on a lot of parts. So it would be nice to hear uh, where I messed up on. And... I clearly know where I've messed up on on some parts as well like I like sometimes I call the grenade a plasma pistol I at the first part of the, the video which is pretty cringe but other than that I'm just gonna wrap it up here um, here's the here's the um, the time I I got yeah so I added all, all the numbers if I messed up on adding up the numbers and you know I messed up there too but uh, at least you know you gotta try new things right man but yeah okay I'll see you guys later peace